We all have dreams when we were kids, and you know, some kids dream about being professional football or basketball players, and you know, others want to be doctors and lawyers. And you know, for me, I wanted to be a bodybuilder. I wanted to be the top guy in in the sport that I thought was going to be my future. And, Five dollars an hour. I made. I worked forty hour weeks. My paycheck was one hundred fifty dollars a week. I thought, wow, if I can actually make money and lift weights and develop a physique that you like, that would be the ideal. The diet is the main thing. I eat up to seven to ten meals a day, and it has to be very specific to get in tip top condition. feel that I've achieved pretty much everything that I ever dreamed about being and I'm still achieving that's the most important thing and I'm still giving people a reason to to uh, aspire for certain dreams and like I said I'm proof that any dreams uh, can come true through hard work and determination and that's what separates a champion from just someone that's doing it for a task I mean that's a champion wants to succeed more and more and thinks about it 24 hours a day I want to see changes in my physique that people say that can't happen. You know, there's still always ways that people try to tear you down, but I know what physique that I want to build. I know what goals I want to accomplish. You know, of course, it was, became a Ronnie and Jay show after all these years, after being second, you know, four times in a row. Of course, it's, you know, I was, it was almost like Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Mr. Olympia. The Olympia gold medal. The Sandow statue and a check for $155,000. Jay Cutler! If he had never stepped back onto a stage, he'd still be known as the king. This is what I was put here to do. Everybody has a calling. This is what God pretty much called me to do. If he had never won that eighth Olympia title, he would still go down in bodybuilding history. Probably the most impressive bodybuilder would be Ronnie Coleman. I knew he was going to make it. Just some people you just know are going to make it. Hey, please. Yeah! Ronnie Coleman, the living legend. Jay Cutler said you were 100% beatable. What do you say about that? I say Jay Cutler is smoking crack. When Ronnie would come here to train, he'd go to the squat rack and I'd see him squat 800 pounds for 12 reps. I mean, mind blowing. He's the strongest bodybuilder I've ever seen. I've seen him do walking lunges with 100 pounds in each hand from the gym to the street and back to the gym again. When Ronnie won the Mr. Olympia for the first time, no one even had their name. Everyone thought Flex Wheeler was going to win. Everyone said Flex Wheeler, Flex Wheeler, and Ronnie came out. And Ronnie did quarter turns, and when he turned to that back, it was amazing. When he made improvements in that one year, was just unbelievable. No one even thought Ronnie was going to be in the top five, let alone win the Olympia, which he did. You're the number one man in this show. It's yours to win or lose. How do you feel? 
Oh, I live for this. I'm having the time of my life. Ronnie, you're a living legend, the most decorated bodybuilder in bodybuilding history, and the fans simply love you.